didn't think you'd come back. Something, something started happening. All the, all the fucking Peggy started scrambling around. All the doors started closing, locking us inside. I, I, I thought I was gonna be down here forever. Because of him. Him. That fucking, fucking piece of shit! He would come down here and he would just stand there and watch. We were begging for mercy and he would just fucking watch. seen anything like that before. <laughs> I knew we saved you for a reason. Hey. You gave us something back we thought we'd never have again. Hope. Whatever happens next, we're with you. Hey. That was a hell of a job, Brooke. The way I see it, you're the one in charge now. And if you ever need anything, just let me know. A seal has been opened. My brother John was loved by few. Feared by many. Misunderstood by all. Except me. John was not born a monster. He was just a child when our family was torn apart. He was loving, kind, full of joy. He was easily preyed upon. John was not perfect. And sometimes he was not even good. But he was my brother. 
and those responsible for his death will be punished. I promise you that. Job, Deputy. You just did some serious damage to the cult's firepower. I'm talking irreversible. Cult's gonna be a lot more careful knowing they've been neutered. That ought to help the resistance. Way to show them. Don't take this personally, Rook, but I had my doubts about whether you'd come back for me. Not that I figured you for a chicken shit, just that if I, if I got free, like you did, after everything I saw, I might have been running for days. Wouldn't have blamed you if you did the same. Every law enforcement experience is different. I met cops who went 30 years and never fired their guns. And here we are, a battlefield in our backyard where it makes perfect sense to use a mortar on 10 cult fanatics. I know I don't have to say it, but I'm gonna say it. Whenever this settles, I got your back. There is no chapter in the textbook about being caught in the middle of a war zone with a religious cult. Um, this is Kim Rye calling out to Nick and the deputy. When you get a chance, can you please swing by the house? Please? No emergency or anything. Uh, yet? <sighs> Where the fuck is Nick? Oh, God! Oh, what the hell's going on, Kim? Where the fuck have you been? <sighs> oh. Oh, can you give me your hand? Our little girl has decided it's time. No, 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 Nick Jr.'s not due for another week. Uh, ow, ow, Kim, Kim, you're hurting my hand, you're hurting my hand. We gotta get into the car. Okay. <sighs> come on, come on, oh, ow. You are so strong. Okay, 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 okay. Deputy, you're driving. Let's go! Hang on left when you get out. Ah, let's go. Oh, yeah. Driving music. Nick? You're going to be okay. The deputy knows how to drive. Just drive. Okay, she taught me some stress reducing breathing techniques. Ow! Ow! Jeez, get my hand. Look out! Deer! 
beer. Shit! I forgot about the beer. This isn't safe. Nah, don't worry about it. This truck can handle anything. I'm not talking about try, the goddamn try. truck. Right here. Pull up. Oh. Hurry. Hey. Hey. Want to come meet your goddaughter? Beautiful. Well, looks like I am gonna have to change the name of my business after all, huh? You probably don't hear this enough, but thank you for everything that you've done. Whatever you need, we'll be there for you. <sighs> Come on, let's get you home. This is Nick. Nick Rye. I wanted to leave a message for the doc or the midwife lady. I was talking to a buddy of mine, Zip Kupka. He said that the CDC or the CIA, they make a pill that my wife can take that makes sure that our baby comes out a boy. Do you know anything about that? If you do, can you call me back? You know what this town needs? Balls. I'm dead serious. Falls End's annual testicle festival is a decades-old tradition. The testy festi is one of the few times the community comes together for what makes them happiest. Scarfing down cowboy caviar. This town needs a morale boost. And if stuffing Rocky Mountain oysters down your gullet don't put a smile on your face, then I don't know what could. The problem is, the festival's been postponed because of the goddamn cult. Now, I am not going down as the cook who failed to serve up huevos with a side of happiness. We're gonna do this. But first, we need to get the testy festy supplies out of storage. The young fella named Kenny's got them all locked up for me at the old bar. I'll start getting set up. You head over and get those supplies. You got some balls rolling into town like that. Most folk take one look at Eden's Gate and turn the other way. The ones that don't get taught a hard lesson. My dad was one of the first to stand up to him. Anytime the Peggy's showed up looking for trouble, Dad would hop in his big rig and chase him out of town. He loved that truck. Called it the Widowmaker. And those fuckers stole it from him a week before he passed. Shit. You really want to piss off the cult? Get the Widowmaker back. Show the cult we're not just gonna roll over and give the folks here something to cheer about. It's locked up under guard at a grain elevator east of here. But I think you're just the person for the job. Oh, I can't wait for the mountain of paperwork we're gonna have to fill after all this, Rook. So much shit happened in here. What counts as a crime? What counts as self-defense? Who the fuck knows? One thing's for sure, you and me will be desk jockeys after this. All right, deputy. It's time to boost tea levels and give the people that little extra fire they're craving. Right now, we serve our Montana tender groins a lot of ways. Baked, fried, boiled, steamed, cured. Hell, we even got a signature dessert. Nuts cream. But that ain't gonna cut it this year. We need something new, something exciting. We're gonna put together a spread that would make a TV chef's asshole pucker. Three new ways to enjoy that swinging beef. Shredded, roasted, and blue. First two are simple. Tractor mulcher and some fire should do the trick. The third one? Well, let's just say interrupting a bull when he's playing hide the salami is one of the most dangerous things you can do. But that's what makes it taste so good. And you're done. Bring the goods back to me and we'll kick the festival off with a bang. Deputy, do you have what I asked for? I'll be. I think this year's Testy Festy will go down as the greatest ever. Can't wait to pop one of those juicy balls into my mouth. And after I finish seasoning and tenderizing these little meatsicles, the taste will be out of this world. It's times like this that remind us of what really matters. Our friends and family, our community, our home. Couldn't have done it without you, hero. Now, you're gonna stick around and gorge on these cattle cutlets, right? Come on, go grab a drink and we'll chow down. Oh yeah, time to get festive. Fucking throat. My daddy put cannons on that thing. Don't be shy, deputy. Shoot him! 
make my dad proud, Deputy. Now bring her on home to Falls End where she belongs. I'd know the sound of that truck anywhere. I gotta say, Deputy, seeing my dad's truck rumbling home sure brings back memories. I'd stand out here every time he came back, just like this, waving him home. You definitely got the grit to handle her, and more importantly, you got the heart. My dad would have liked you. If you ever need to use the Widowmaker, you don't even gotta ask. In the meantime, I'll keep my ear to the ground. If I hear anything that's worth your while, I'll let you know. Thanks again, Deputy. John C. professes principles he neither believes nor practices. Anyone who goes behind a pulpit has that to a certain degree. Even me. But there is a canyon between the truth and his lies. For a long time, I blamed myself. And then I blamed Danny. Hell, I even blamed the fucking milkshake at some point. This song kind of sucks. The truth is, the only person to blame was the guy who pulled the trigger. That's the nature of this job. One day, it's gonna go bad. You can't stop it. You can just hope it ain't today. I hate it. That troublemaker thinks the cult is really just a government money ploy. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, come on. All this violence because of something like that? This cult wasn't created by the government. It was created by society. I was younger, I, could I spent years searching. I was a rat in we'll a maze, always chasing in no time. the same wedge of rancid cheese. The father was the first Makes person to help days. me realize there is a world I beyond I should get myself a little pistol just for background. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. It doesn't devour. It's a world that gives. That loves. It's a world that welcomes you with open arms. I'm not searching anymore. I'm here to share his word. This is fantastic. There's new stuff added all the time. Rattlers. Deputy, you've crossed into the henbane. This is the most awesome game Don't trust anything you see. And sure as shit, don't believe a word that Faith says. Also, steer clear of those white flowers. They seem harmless, but they will fuck your shit up. If you don't believe me, just wait until you come across some of those shambling junkies. You don't exactly. Cult calls them angels, but they'll tear through you like shit through a goose. Some guy named Roy sent us the coordinates to his bunker. He says there's stuff down there we can use against the cult. It's locked from the inside, but according to him, there's another way in by the water. Those Peggy bastards stole all our gas. They drained these here reservoirs and filled their tankers. So I need you to steal one and bring it back here. Just got word that there's one parked at the old diner down the road. If we're gonna rebuild, we gotta reopen these pumps. We'll keep the truck stop safe. You bring back that sweet, sweet gas. New world order is erupting all around us. Know what I'm saying? Okay, call, call, call me Tweak. I'm mean, technically Aaron, but we don't need to be talking about official forms of ID, do we? Do we? No, 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 I didn't think so. You uh, don't look cultish. In fact, you have a distinct anti-cult vibe, which I dig. Hey, you, you know, I've been working on something for, for people like you who are taking on the, 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 the cult. You know, top secret, very hush-hush. I consider myself something of a professional amateur chemist, and I've got uh, recipes that will make you harder, better, faster, and stronger. No, 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 don't, 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 don't think of them like, 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 like drugs, but, but like performance enhancers. You like the sound of that? Thought so. Oh, but small snag. My, my, my supplies are low, so I'm gonna need some more special ingredients. I, I go myself, but uh, uh, kind of busy here. If you're interested, find the goods, then, then meet me at Prosperity. Okay, it's a little town southeast of here.
Lots of folks went to Sacred Skies when they were little. Bit of an old-fashioned summer camp. Taking it back means one less place for the cult to make that bliss. Appreciate it, Deputy. Good job clearing the camp out. Of course, now we have another problem. We got ourselves one nasty cougar down past the river. It's not an ordinary beast. I heard it was from one of the cult's failed experiments. It kills anyone that gets close. It pumped it so full of the bliss drug, it'll make you hallucinate just being near it. I sent a team out to put it down, but they haven't come back. They're probably dead. I'd like you to finish the job. But I gotta warn you, this critter is super dangerous and super unpredictable. You'll never take me alive! Er... Oh, you're, you're not here to arrest me? Cool. Sorry. I am Charlemagne Victor Beauchamp. Now, if you require more brevity in your day-to-day -day life, you can just call me Shark. Welcome to the Disco Inferno, man. It's my special place where I can just be me, without the prying eyes of my P.O., or witnesses, or law enforcement types such as yourself. Here is where I am free to unleash my fire and mayhem in a pan. Get the fuck out of here, Johnny Law. I know my rights. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Okay. Here is where I am free to unleash my fire and mayhem in a pants-free, consequence-free environment. I have pants on now, yes, but who knows what the next half hour, 45 minutes hold. Got a sweet-ass sound system rigged for 110 decibels of the hottest music ever created. Every time I crank it up, man, those dipshit cult angels, they just come running, and I can't tell if they love it or hate it, but I'm telling you, it sure is fun to melt their faces off. And don't worry, man, the angels, they's already brain dead. I'm just giving them a glorious send-off to Disco Heaven, man. You wanna help? It's good fun, man. I promise not to tell anyone. We don't even have to wear pants or nothing. I supply the music, and I use the flamethrower to make them dance, and you use your, um... I don't know, whatever it is you got. Let's just burn this mother down. That was fun. Man, I wish all cops were cool like you. What can I say, amigo? You and me, we got chemistry. We're like... We're like a freaking team. All right, get back out there, man. Call me next time you're taking on the Angels. If I had a nickel for every dumbass stunt of Sharky Boshaw's that went tits up, I'd be a fucking millionaire. Still, he's a fighter. And he don't have any love for Eden's Gate. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. <laughs> Welcome to the bliss. I know you've heard stories about me. That I'm a liar. A manipulator. <laughs> that I poison people's minds. Well, let me tell you a different story. A true story. There once was a young woman who had been ostracized by her community, bullied by friends, abused by her family. She took to a needle for help. She was all alone. She wanted to die. And she met the father. <laughs> he gave her hope and confidence. The father showed her how special she was. She was full of love and life. He gave her a new family, one that accepted her just as she was. The young woman no longer wished to die. She had been given. One day, the father brought her here. He 
He asked if she had faith in him. He asked if she would be willing to die for him. The young woman who very much wished to live was scared. The father told her this was her test. He would have faith in her if she had faith in him. Clear to those who have faith. Walk the path. I will give you purpose. I will set you free. Do you feel different? Do you feel alive? The first step is always the scariest, but we all have faith in you. Follow the pilgrimage. Walk the path. I'll see you soon. Hello? Is anyone out there? This is Virgil Minkler at the Hope County Jail. We need help. I repeat, we need help. The Peggy's are trying to break down the gate. If there's anyone nearby, hurry! I don't know how much longer we have! Got a man down! I need a medic! Sunstand! Rook? I need more ammo! They really saved our bacon. They've been throwing themselves at these walls for days. Just won't let up. They already kicked open a hornet's nest. Drugs on the road! Damn it! Rook, I need you up on that wall. Rogers, there's an Arkweller somewhere inside. Footy was using it last. Get on it. You're with me. Let's start collecting scrap. You have to pull the doors off some of the cells? Do it! Now hop to! We ain't got much time. Any hey, problems? No. A couple of the Peggy scaled the wall, but we got him. Door. That doesn't look too bad. You'll be all right. Just keep pressure on it. You know, I was gonna retire last year. I was worried I'd get bored. Are you gonna introduce us, or we're just gonna stand around here all awkward and shit? Language! Oh, fuck off, Virgil. Not today. I have told you, a vulgar mind is a sign of... You're not wearing your button! No, I'm not wearing it. I'll need a casualty report. We're, we're cougars! We're really not. Look, I'm wearing my button. The sheriff is wearing his button. This person... I'm sorry, who is this? This is one of my deputies. I thought you said your deputies were taken. No, well, this one wasn't. Been giving Eden's Gate a hell of a time from what I hear. That's so. Well, I hope you plan on pitching in. No room for freeloaders. <laughs> oh, Tracy's all right when she gets to know you. She's right about the work, though. There's plenty to be done around here. Just ask around. Good to have you back, Rook. Okay, then. Rook, you're doing a hell of a job out there. And Faith doesn't like disobedience. We got word there's an armed patrol cruising the river, and it sounds like she's called in the Chosen. The toughest the cult has to offer. Be careful out there. Can the mist is rising. Me? Gonna make you hallucinate, and if you breathe it for too long, well, you could wind up like the marshal. Wait, hey, we're out. Gonna be honest. Never thought I'd see you again. After the crash, I, I just remember fog, and walking in a field. Then I saw her. You've seen her too, haven't you, Rook? Whatever she says, whatever she promises, it's a lie. Stay away from her, you'll end up just like the Marshal. The bliss. It makes you forget. 
makes you feel free. You just want to stay there forever. But it isn't real. None of it. If Virgil and Tracy hadn't found me, I'd still be out there, swimming in a sea of bliss. A prisoner in my own head. Those two saved my life. These cougars, they're good people, but they're hanging on by a thread. We gotta help them, Rook. No one else will. One last thing. We had a doctor. Well, a veterinarian, but he's doing his best. Guy went missing a couple hours ago. Don't know why, don't know how. Keep an eye out for him, would you? Who'd have thought the old prison would become a holdout for the resistance? <laughs> Your sheriff seems to know what he's doing, though. Tracy, I've seen around. Mostly keeps to herself. And Virgil, well, he's Virgil. I don't care much for politicians. Do what you can to help them out. I'll be in touch. Joseph adopted Faith into their family. She's gonna be madder in a wet hand that you killed her brother John. We got one big job around here, and that's to stop Faith. She took everything from me. My job, my marriage, even my son. All because of that bliss. You're one of us now, a cougar. We're a team that helps each other, and I need your help right now, deputy. You know about our water treatment plant? The cult took it and started pumping it full of bliss. You believe that? Right into the drinking water. What kind of monster does that? Well, she's not getting away with it any longer. I tell you straight, we're gonna shut it down fast. What do you say? Last two days, we've had a few people go missing. Only from what we can tell, they weren't lost in the bliss. There's been rumors of some place run by Faith's favorites. The kind of place nobody comes back from. Torture, drownings. Sacrifices. People say anyone who doesn't walk Faith's little pilgrimage winds up there. I think we got a real problem on our hands, and I need someone to check it out. Someone who can handle themselves if it turns out to be more than just stories. Be careful, Rook. Hey. Shut up. Sorry about before. Wasn't cool. Ask anyone here. I do tough really good, but the rest, well, I'm working on it. So, restart. Welcome. You'll like the team we got. Everyone's strong, and we need to be with what's beyond those walls. I hope Earl's right about you. We've all been trying to figure out how to crush Eden's gate. You ask me, it starts with Faith. At least that's what she's calling herself these days. You seen that giant statue on the hill? Of course you have. You can't miss it. Good old Joseph Seed, the father. Faith had her groupies build that concrete eyesore for her sick pilgrimage. You seen them? Those sad fuckers marching their way to that statue? It's horrible. We gotta tear down that statue. Let all those Peggies know their father ain't no fucking god. He's just a man. What do you say, Rook? Go drive a big fuck you size hole into that thing. My bag! Where's my bag? Shit! I lost my bag! Thank you for saving me. My name is Dr. Charles Lindsay. I'm part of a group hold up south of here at the old jail. Faith and her angels have been trying to get to us for days. I was out here looking for a way to stop them when the cult took me. I think I found a way to bait the angels, but the ingredients for the bait are in my bag and the cult put in the pond. And I... I can't swim. I know, I know who can't swim, but I need you to go get it for me. Sorry, my name's Charles. Everyone calls me Doc, but I'm not... I'm not that kind of doctor. I'm a veterinarian. But right now, I guess I'm the resident yard doctor. <laughs> Stitching up bullet wounds is a lot different than delivering calves, that's for goddamn sure. Sorry, doesn't matter. Here's the deal. I stumbled on something that seems to attract the angels, which means we could herd them. I went out to try a field test, but things went sideways. Fucking cult. <sighs> I'm missing ingredients, and if I stay out here, I'm just gonna wind up dead. I have to get back to the prison. Can you help me? I've got the list of stuff I still need. If you could find them, we may actually have a chance at surviving. Are you Italian? Just what I need, my jewelry to go missing now, too. Never mind. I don't care what you are. I need help. 
Those miserable shits raided my place trying to kill my peaches. Now she's raced off for her revenge. If I know peaches, she's gone off to chow down on those hippies. She's probably lounging at the nearby campsite. It smells like armpits and processed meat down there. So those Eden Project losers can't be far away. Go on and find her now. Be sure to take her treats with you. She's just like that little drubbing whore at the marina. She'll follow you anywhere if you give her a treat. Now go get my kitty back. You're sharper than you look. I'll be honest. I figured I'd never see you again. Thought you were a little dim in the headlights, but you proved me wrong. Ah, oh, hell. Why don't you just keep the damn cat? I've enjoyed not having to deal with her incessant needs for food and water and attention the last few days. All right, off you go. We're done here. Peaches is one angry beast, but I think I'd rather deal with her than Mabel. I ain't much of a cat person, but she's got a taste for Peggy blood, and they ain't gonna see her coming until it's way too late. <laughs> into our home, into our heart. Trust in the path and you'll find the answers you seek. Even those who fight against us seek salvation. We are proof of that. We all need guidance in times like these. So we must be strong. We must be vigilant. Now you'll see. Now you'll truly understand. Because those on the outside will see what we have built here together in our new Eden. The love. And they will come. And they will try to take from us all that we have built. The judgment will judge us. Things that we've done. People say that I'm crazy. But when you wake up in the morning, you look at the same news that I do. Do your eyes not fill with horror? This is the world? This? This is the world we built for our children? Communities being torn apart, walls being erected because leaders are too impotent to act. Bullies are too adult to lead righteously. towards our destruction and no one is willing to do anything about it. I can see that. You can see. But we are not crazy. So what are we supposed to do? We just sit back and await the inevitable? And I claim to be a perfect man. But I saw what was coming and I chose to act to lead, because society is broken. And the only way forward is to go back to the way things once were. Innocent and pure, so safe and protected in our garden. I can say 